I'm watching a video on 10 mysterious extinct human species and they bring up this extinct human called Boskop Man, B-O-S-K-O-P Man, which I've never even heard about. And supposedly it has a brain that's 30% bigger than modern humans, but it's 10,000 to 30,000 years old, the skull. Large brain, small face. Yeah, and it doesn't look like a lot of the prehistoric human skulls that have been found in Africa. It looks like a... Uh, These guys look like aliens. Yeah, they do. At least the drawings of them, they have a narrow nose and a, a forward chin and a big giant cranium. These guys were ultra intelligent, right? Well, that's what they're guessing that they might have been based on their the way their brain structured. But they larger have, than modern humans. They found it in South Africa. It's a, it was an incomplete skull. It looks like they they backtracked on it and said it's really not a different species. It's just modern human, but it's an archaic one, and it's with a much larger brain. It's substantially larger. Thirty percent larger. Yeah, it says it, it's uh, than modern humans, it, giving them a large forebrain, which may in turn indicate a relatively high IQ. And so why'd they go extinct then? And how come no one in Africa has a brain that that's... No one even now has a brain that's 30% uh, larger than humans. And was this... And where's the complete skull of this? If it's only 30,000 years old at the most, I mean, they have... They were only able to put this together based on fragments, right? They didn't actually find an entire skull. But they show online, if you go uh, do an image search... They show skulls that look like they're complete, but then, and then, but the rest of the time they show just drawings of it. So I thought they based that on just fragments of the bones that they did find. Well, look at this skull right here. That looks like a complete skull. So I don't know if that's a, a artist interpret. It looks like a photograph of a skull, but that's the only angle you see of that skull. And then well, you do have tribes in Africa though that do manipulate. But the that skull as it grows. But that's usually elongating it in the back or something like that. Like, look at this one right here. It really looks like an alien to me. This was a splinter species that just ended up going extinct, although it was very highly intelligent. Who knows? There's a lot that's missing on the Boscup or whatever they're calling it. They had some other Mysterious. name. Mysterious. They say they no longer use the name Boscup, man, but they go on and on in the, in the article talking, saying the same name. Exactly. Just referring to it as the same same guy. And they, ha I mean, I'll have to put it in the notes or something because I can't find it, but they had another name for it. It's a big mystery, and they, they go on talking about it like it was no big deal. It just happened to be something that was 30% bigger brain than modern human. No big deal. Highly intelligent. I mean, we could be on, we could be colonizing Pluto by now if these things had stuck How around. How do you know we're not? Yeah, exactly. These are the true aliens. Anyway, look up a uh, Boscup Man and see for yourself.